We all love a bit of social media, but don't use social media as your central photo storage. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We keep photos and videos on all of them, but should we use them as our central storage for our photo and video legacy? The answer is most definitely no. Social media is all about engaging and sharing and maybe a bit of showing off. But as for storing your photos, it is not what they were made for or are any good at. The biggest one people use is Facebook. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you should not store your photos only on social media. They compress your photos. I've said it before and I will say it again. Social media and especially Facebook like to compress your images within an inch of its life, mostly to save them space. They are not charging you for the space, so why would they want to give you the best quality? But Facebook is not the only offender. Even sending a photo via text will compress your photos a little bit. So take your photos directly from your camera and put it into your central photo hub. That will keep its original quality. They strip out the data. There is a ton of data behind all of your photo files, or if we're going to get fancy, metadata. It tells all sorts of things about your photos, where it was taken, what kind of camera you used, but most importantly, when you took it. If you take that photo and load it into Facebook, it will make the photo taken date the date you loaded up into Facebook. Now, that's fine if you're taking a photo of your dinner and you're sharing with someone in the very moment. However, if you are sharing at memory, it is bye-bye original capture date. WhatsApp is just as bad for this because it will take the date that you sent an image, which is fine if you're sending it in the moment, but say you sent it a month later saying, do you remember our amazing holiday? It is again. Bye-bye, original capture date. Permission to use your photos. Okay, a bit of a myth buster. They don't own your photos when you load them up into the likes of Facebook and Instagram, but if you have a bit of a read of the terms, you are giving them royalty-free worldwide license. So they are free to use your photos pretty much how they'd like anywhere in the world without giving you any money or asking your permission. However, this is subject to your privacy and application settings, so worth checking out your privacy settings. Make it hard to get your photos out. Getting your photos into the apps can be super easy. One click and you have shared to the world, but they don't care about how you get those photos out when you want to. They are making it easier to download all of your own data out of Facebook if you go to your Facebook information. But what about all the photos you are tagged in from others? There have been a succession of apps trying to help you do this, but as Facebook keeps changing their algorithms, it's like playing whack-a-mole with your options. So have a think before you load. The important part when it comes to keeping your photos safe is to have a central storage hub that will keep your photos at the original quality. Whether it is a dedicated photo organizing app like Apple, Google, or Amazon Photos, or an external hard drive you use, it is that simple. So when it comes to storing your photos, move away from social media and most importantly, Facebook. What other tips do you have for keeping your photos safe while sharing them? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I will see you in my next video.